How's it going? Just came up to the Ipswich Queens Park uh, Animal Reserve and thought we'd show some visitors the animals up here. A uh, wheelbarrow toddler through and thought I'd show you the flying foxes or the fruit bats that we had flying over our um, place in the other clip. So a bit of a wander and show you the bats. Did a clip of the bats the other night as they flew over our house. And I just thought I'd show you this colony here. We were at the local uh, free council zoo. And here we have a whole load of these flying foxes just hanging around. So that tree is actually over the top of a walkway. So we're going to have to walk under these fellas. Just all up there having a bit of a snooze for the day. Now I think of it, I can actually um, smell them from here. I'm having a bit of a scratch. Just turned to walk away and I noticed up the top of that tree over there, there's a couple of them having a bit of a squabble there. There is another whole load of them up here. Just to give you some idea, some of these guys are probably the ones that flew over our place. So I'll take a bit of a walk around and we'll see if we can get a better shot. So now we're walking under the bats. May is down there trying to take some shots. May has uh, just got some great advice from Bianca. If you see a bat open its wings, move. These guys have really taken over this area. Taken over the whole park. They're over the other side as well. There'd have to be thousands of them here, I would say. I just noticed there's a couple having a fight up here. Everywhere. Trying to get a bit of a um, better look at these guys, but it's a bit bright. So. There you go. There's a bit of a look at one wrapped up. Having it snooze for the day. In fact, it looks like it may even have a baby underneath there. Looks like two wrapped together. It's picked a nice spot. That tree would be full of nectar for them to eat. There's another one just over here. Whoops, gone too far. Whoops, lost him. There we go. Another two wrapped up there. This guy here has been keeping an eye on me, wondering what I'm doing, I think. So, there's quite a few up there. Just walking along and we found this little fellow at about head height. So I don't want to disturb him, but just hanging in the tree off the side of the path here. So that's pretty cool. But as you can hear, I'm right underneath the whole heap of them. So I'll just give you a bit of a close-up look at one of these little guys. Pretty groovy, eh? See ya, fella. Here's just one last look at them. This is the large tree. Just chockers with them. A couple of them flying around during the daytime. I can understand why the people who live next door to these guys out in the suburbs, you know, get driven crazy. A couple more flying around up there. I was just speaking to one of the groundskeepers here and I mentioned in one of our gardening clips earlier that we had a couple of 40 degree days, uh, got up to 104 to about 111 I think it was, or 114 Fahrenheit and unfortunately he said they had to pick up around about 2,000 dead flying foxes or fruit bats um, from under these trees here behind me. He said it just knocked the colony for six here so even with 2,000 down there's still loads of these fruit bats around. I thought I'd just give you a bit of a look at the colonies. Uh, or where the bats that fly over our place in that other clip come from 
and thank you very much to Chris for letting me know that these bats were up here. Um, I, to tell you the truth, haven't visited here for ages. So, yeah, I didn't even know they were up here. He was up visiting family from Victoria and let me know. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the clip and have a great one. Catch ya.